What's good? What's hood? What's geek air about this host JQ the Mad Kid, aka No Turning Back Once We Start Down That Road, aka the Jake. Hey man, he messed me up. What's good? What's hood? What's geek air about this host JQ the Mad Kid, aka JQ leader of the Cloudvision Rock Kyle speaking, aka the Golden Pharaoh of the South. Back on episode of Bow Gates Three. So last episode, pretty much we just really talked, had pretty much enjoy our victory and our plunder. But now this episode, we're going to keep moving forward and see what's going to happen. So now we're going to really get done with Act 2 and go straight to Act 3. Act 2 was the most irritated act I ever did in Boys Gates. Oh, and reason why I did this off camera like a long time ago, uh, I pretty much snuck up on the game Yankee, the Gank Yankee uh, booby trap or trap, whatever you want to call it. So now with that's out the way, I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. If y'all do, man, leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that bell so be no forward. Still taints the land. Perhaps we could have lifted it had we tried. So with that's the way, let's hop into it. The absolute armies are on the march, and Baldur's Gate is their target. So after that, time so in Act Two. We go right to Act Three. Rick is defeated. The path ahead clear. You should be elated. The sight of the land you leave behind does nothing to alleviate your sorrow. Like I said, cause we lost somebody, so I couldn't really do the mission like that. I couldn't really uh do really, like lift the shadow curse. But next uh But the next playthrough, if I do it, we gonna actually try to get the shout curse lifted though. Sergeant, if you are here, I presume Worms Rock is secure. And preparations for my inauguration are complete. No, Lord Gortash. We were interrupted. Another quake in the lower city. More severe this time. So you came cowering to my chambers? I'm flattered, Sergeant. But even I cannot command natural phenomena to cease. Forgive me, my lord. But there is panic in the streets. The people are afraid. Perhaps the people would be calm if you kept your nerve. I expect better from the flaming fist than to run scared from a slight tremor in the earth. Get back to your duties. Duties, duties, duties. Patrolling and saluting and following and bowing and scraping. Yes, sir. No, sir. Rip and cut your throat, sir. Your plan is falling apart, Lordling. Give me a reason not to cut you to ribbons. Control yourself, Orin. We need to focus on reuniting the stones or the brain will break free. These quakes are just the start. Neither of us expected the prison bearers to kill Ketherick. They'll be traveling to the city. Let's make sure we give them a Baldurian welcome. I itch to be you. To split your skin. To see your skull shine in the light. Little tyrant. <sighs> Lucky for you, I harvested a whole family of living flesh in Rivington at High Sun. They will sate my blade thirst tonight. But tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, my blades will thirst again. That shit crazy. How that shit came. Take 
that damn armor off. Shit. Why everything's still rendering? Ah, JQ, the man who killed an unkillable person and who has slain a god. Beyond the campsite, the city waits in uneasy silence. One sleep away. JQ, the man with two nicknames in the Underdark. The man who has killed a immortal and a person who killed the gods with my teammates, Karlag, the brother man, Will, and my baby girl, Shahad. <laughs> Ah, <sighs> look at it. So beautiful, so peaceful. Damn, nigga, you got off that shit kind of fast. So I just went to sleep for no reason then? Excuse me. Uh, what's in here? Ooh, I got... I got that gold, though. God damn. All right. Y'all need to start looking for some supplies or something. What's up, GR? Shadowheart has found a little bit of herself again. Saluna so cannot take all of the credit. She may have lit the way, but it is the cleric who took this step. Mm-hmm. No, we were traveling together. Um, I'll talk to you. I have a crew moment or a party moment uh, video. Just talk to everybody and whatnot. Sometimes when that when that did that that little dun 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 dun, dun why well, sound like uh, off of a have a little Star Wars type of theme to to it. All right, let's talk. Will you got anything? All right. Like you? Yeah, I say something. Cause somebody who was so dedicated to their they faith. Good. I was just starting to miss the sound of your voice. I know my voice. I know my voice be my voice be attractive. <laughs> Damn, why? Why y'all over here? Poor shadow heart. She's been jerked around so much. I want to believe the gods keep this world balanced, but sometimes, sometimes I wonder. Hey, Berkey, wondering. Shit. I'll let y'all do y'all. Withers, why are you? You good, man? Withers, you straight? now a bosom companion take care that thou art not distracted on my quest seeking the comforts of the flesh <laughs> my love life is nothing your business you mean shut her guys i wish i i see where my i wish she was where my recall that in time all becomes dust and bone Yeah, it's true. Hey, where the uh, little girl go to? Hey, uh, vampire. Oh, Lord, here. The gate is closed. As is Casador. And we are no closer to knowing <laughs> what bastard is so obsessed with getting me back. 
talking about? We will kill him no matter what. <sighs> to tell you the truth, I don't know whether we can defeat Cazador. Not unless we can figure out more about what he's plotting. I think we should track down my fellow Spawn. I'm not exactly looking forward to a reunion, but perhaps they'll know something. If we can find them, we can force them to tell us what he's been doing since I was gone. And honestly, I imagine they'll be coming for me in the night if I don't. All right, we'll look into it. Changed their oh Lord, damn man! I did not think you're gonna have a whole conversation with me, bro. Lord have mercy, Gail, yeah, what's wrong with you? The absolute should be a thing of the past, and I with it. Yet, at the risk of angering Mister Fervor, I'm glad it didn't come to that. Given what has come to light. Why are you with me? Why are you? <laughs> uh, what are you talking about? I seen you in a good mood. Indeed. Under other circumstances, I might have been subdued or ashamed. But after what we saw, I must admit, I'm excited. The Elder Brain. But more importantly, the crown that it wore. Even without seeing it for myself, I could sense it. Netherese magic. So pure, so complete. I doubted what I was feeling at first. Most Netherese artifacts contain only the faintest amount of their former power. The ghost of an echo of a memory. That crown was different. I can't fathom how such a wonder survived. Surely everything of its ilk was destroyed. Oh Lord, this y'all love talking my ass a damn death. I ain't wanna a whole damn lecture, my boy. Mm-hmm. Back up a little. Wow, the crown importance. That crown sits on a gargantuan elder brain bent on destroying us and everything we hope. Yeah, okay. I'm going I'm to be rude. We'll soon find ourselves near one of the finest book collections. So you just want to go shop. Sorceress sundries. I need to go there and learn all I can. Sound like a... The only kind of Zach. Okay, okay, y'all damn man. You you was talking to me. You my question, what was the point of What was the point of y'all two? Now nah, what's the point of you No know what? I ain't gonna question myself. The events of the last days weigh heavily upon you. Sleep's rest is slow to come to one whose mind is so full. The Absolute is not a god, but an elder brain controlled by the Chosen of the Dead Three. They mean to use it to take control of the Sword Coast. All who carry the Tadpole are governed by the brain and by extension the Chosen. It will take but one order to transform them into an army of mind flayers. This would have been your fate too, were it not for the astral prison and the mysterious visitor inside of it. With her help, you have uncovered the cult for what it really is. A plan of conquest orchestrated by the gods of death themselves. Together, you have the power to thwart the dead three. If you follow this path to its end, the elder brain will not answer to the chosen. It will answer to you. Will you liberate them from their parasites and their religious delusions? Or will you use the power you gain for your own purposes? Hmm. All I want is to be free as this parasite. What will do? Um. I'll free everybody of this evil and I will be a hero. And when it comes. When the moment comes, I'll do the right thing. You not have long to wait. All you need to do now is sleep. But sleep is not for you. Hear me. Gather. The reckoning is upon us. The city thirsts for domination. March. Join. Yo, 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 yo. Help me. <laughs> Die, you 
Damn. Oh, y'all gotta go first. Oh, wait, wait. I said, wrong. Rewind that back. I got this girl. Oh, nah, now nah, y'all cheating. Nah, we ain't doing that. Damn. Uh, let me try some. Boom, he right there. And you right there. Then uh, let's try again. Oh, damn. Uh, yeah, we need to uh, hurry the fuck up then. Damn. Come quickly. I can't do this without you. I am girl. Damn, relax. I ain't think we was going to I thought we could kill him. Don't waste a step. Can't afford to let up. Uh You can miss a step. That'd be funny if I pitch you in a pitch your ass in that portal. Everybody, we made it. Gods, any moment now, that orb is going to explode. All right now, niggas. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have my whole party there. What now? Shouldn't have made me your enemy. Uh, what is the Imperial 
All right, uh, we gonna hit you with that move. Bullshit. All right, uh, Elder Blast is it? It's oh. not over. Come to the skull. And here I go. Okay, uh. It's not over. Come to the skull. I heard you. I'm coming. Should beat your ass. I am the one that came to you in your dreams. I should beat your ass. Help me. Leave the gift monkey alone. What do you need me to do? Of course, they get to go first. Uh, let me jump. How far? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Nah, I should, I should hit it too. I should get here too. Damn. Destroy the honor guard. Okay, I'm trying to. If y'all quit letting y'all go first all the damn time. Like I said, damn. I'm trying to do something. Y'all keep telling me what to do. I'm trying to do it. Let me hit y'all with that Elder Blast. Let me move up here. Action Surge. Don't 
Now for that, uh, Shahar needs you to jump right here. If I said if I was you too, I would get hit you with firebolt. Can you stun? There you go. All right, we done. All right. Okay. Mm-hmm, nigga. All right, do what you got to do. Pointless, my boy. That was bad. That was mad pointless on your part. Uh, where? What you gonna do, bro? I don't know. Alright, uh... Can you shoot up in the air? Hold on, we gonna jump up there with the, uh, Emperor. Then we gonna jump, right? Nigga, you know what? I ain't gonna say shit. Cause now it's too high. Okay, then after that, we gonna hit him with a. I'm going to jump. Jump to right here. What's happened? All right, I was about to say, I didn't know what just happened. All right, go back. I must regain control of the Gajankin Prince. He's stunned? All right, bet, he's stunned. Wham! He did with that whammy bammy. Hit that boy that went me bam me. Thank you. That was too close. Don't look at me like that. I am a mind flayer. Yes. Without me, you would be a slave to the absolute. Man. All the things to be indebted to. A bloody mind flayer. You telling me? Consider a partnership with a mind flayer, even those who are on a path of becoming one. I was someone once, someone just like you. And oh, Lord, not history lesson. I came from Baldur's Gate, though I was never one to be constrained by circumstance. Then, then what everybody come from Baldur's Gate? That longing brought me to Moonrise Towers on a search for treasure. 
to a colony of mind flayers who caught me, changed me into what I am now. the absolute i was a thrall like any other but i was fortunate i broke free and started a new life in my old city i sustained myself on criminals unglamorous but there are plenty of them rarely missed and they fueled me when i did my work i had the good fortune to meet duke stillman we formed a partnership, and through her, I became the governing force behind the Knights of the Shield, the largest mercantile operation in Baldur's Gate. People referred to me as the Emperor. Such was my influence, though of course they had no idea what I really was. My needs were sated. I was happy for a while, until my true nature was discovered by the tyrant himself, Lord Gortash. He tore me from my home and brought me back to the brain where I became a slave once again. A slave he continued to call the Emperor. The name was intended as a slight to remind me of the heights from which I fell. But I have grown fond of it. It encapsulates well who I've become. Okay, thanks for the history lesson that I didn't ask for, but damn. Indeed. His hubris knows no bounds. To enslave me, that was his nature. But to enslave an elder brain, a questionable decision. I shall look forward to sharing his downfall with you. Okay. So, can I get out of this place now? Prince Orpheus, son of the first leader of the Githyanki. His power has been the source of your continued protection against the voice of the Absolute. The power to disrupt hive mind communication. It is the same power that enabled Orpheus' mother to bring about the fall of the Elithid Empire eons ago. A power she passed on to him, and that I leveraged for you. When Orpheus' mother left, a usurper took her place. Vlakith declared herself queen of the Githyanki. Vlakith wanted his power, but Orpheus rose against her, and so she sealed him and his honor guard within this prison. Bound by infernal chains, Orpheus could never leave. Bound by duty, his guard never would. They were close to breaking my home on that prince. And if they had succeeded, we would be lost. I am relieved. You have embraced your potential enough that you could help me eliminate them. Alone, Orpheus will be much easier to control. So where are you? So my question is... Most certainly Orpheus. He is a threat to her reign. Some Githyanki still revere him in defiance of their teachings. Blackith was safe as long as they believed him to be dead. But as you can see, he is very much alive. She kept him this way because she was reluctant to eradicate such power. Power that she might one day wish to take from him. If the Githyanki ever find out what she has done, there will be civil war. Blackith will be finished. Hmm. A very good question. One that I have been unable to answer. That Orpheus lives at all is ruinous to Blackith. She has done everything in her power to keep his existence a secret. And that Gortash and the Chosen found out about it. This is impossible to explain. But it was important enough to them that Gortash sent me to retrieve it. The moment I found it, I felt a change. My free will returning. I followed the feeling inside. 
and found Orpheus. I realized what the prison was for. Containment. While my body was within the prison's bounds, my mind was free. I could resist the Elder Brain, the Chosen. Better yet, I could plan to overthrow them. All I needed to do was subdue Orpheus and find allies in the outer world. You. Okay, 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 okay. That would be a terrible idea. The moment he is Ooh, okay, bro, damn. As far as Orpheus is concerned, you are already a lithid, a sworn enemy, just like me. The more you talk to me, the more or less I see you like a mind player. I'm not a lift -lift. I'll never be one. I'm... You are already more a lithid than you realize. It has improved you. You seek to reverse an inevitable process. A process of evolution. When I first escaped from the Elder Brain, Ooh, Lord, this nigga talk my for a little as minute. an illithid, I have far surpassed who I ever was before. You too should embrace this change. I don't. Okay, no. Why would I? Do you say that. I'm just trying to avoid because I thought, thought we agreed to protect me. I believe we'll have a better chance of defeating the Elder Brain if you embrace your latent lithid potential. I've been studying you for a while now. I believe I can trigger the next stage of your tadpole's life cycle. You have seen what I can do if you let me. I can evolve you. If you can evolve me, you can stop. What would that entail? You will be able to do things you never thought were possible. There will be physical alterations, of course, and you will soon see that the benefits outweigh any perceived loss. The answer is twofold. Two. So, do you wish to evolve on... Even as you say the words, you feel a lurch of disappointment. I felt that. What does this tab will do? <clears throat> I had Skip. He's he talking too damn much for me, bro. I'm trying to get into... It wants to evolve, but it cannot do so alone. It must commune with another. The tadpole screams for growth with painful intensity. It has been starved of life. But if you let it, it will evolve you. Just a tadpole, nurtured by the psionic energy of the astral plane, cocooned here for millennia, it has become extraordinary. Really, niggas? Come on, bro. Bro, why is it low numbers for all of a sudden? Damn. A wave of disappointment stronger than any. You are not ready yet. It hasn't. I don't know what. Bro, can I please get out of here, bro? You was talking to me too long. Damn. Hold on, y'all. Shalhar's up there. Let me get her down. Alright, y'all. Come on. I'm trying to leave this movie. Keep on talking to me. We're going to end this video here, y'all. So I hope y'all enjoyed the episode of Bullgates 3. Come back later on. We're going to see 
everybody else feel about this so that's out of the way major god bless on jake out peace